Hi everybody. Today we're going to be painting um, an acrylic painting on your canvas. So in your art supply bag you should have a um, canvas board like this. Also you're going to need all of the acrylic paints that were in your bag. So go ahead and grab those out of your bag. Oh one more thing out of your bag. You're also going to need your charcoal. A little stick of charcoal like this. It gets all of your hands, so have a rag handy also. You're going to need a jar of water, and paintbrush, and something to put your paint on. Um, this is, I have a stack of these little styrofoam plates in my studio. You can also use a scrap piece of paper, um, a magazine, which is really cool. I have a friend who uses magazines and she'll, um, paint, pour out her paint on one page. And then when she's done, she just rips out that page and throws it away and has another page ready. So whatever you can find around your house to squirt some paint out on will be perfect. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it and gather up your supplies and we'll get started. Okay. First thing we're going to use is your stick of charcoal. We're going to do a perspective painting today, which is kind of interesting. It is a painting, um, of a view out of a window and a cat sitting on the windowsill looking out the window. And so you're gonna kind of see what he is seeing. The um, the scene is the background is what we're gonna paint first, the mountains and, and the town, um, which reminds me a lot of Colorado Springs for some reason. When I um, saw the sample of this, I went, oh yeah, my sister used to live there. <laughs> it's just It just reminded me of Colorado Springs for some reason. So we're gonna start with the background. And just really lightly with your charcoal, we're going to sketch in a mountain range. So here are the back mountains. And then, like we learned in our paper cutting exercise, we're going to put some, another, some more mountains in front like this. Now this looks empty. This area here looks empty. So I'm going to add one right there. The reason we're using charcoal today is that it erases really, really easily. Also, um, it mixes well with your paint and kind of gives you some shading. Sometimes if you use enough charcoal, it mixes and uses and um, gives you some shading. But this is what I use when I sketch out on a canvas instead of a pencil. I usually use charcoal. So I wanted to kind of give you that experience of seeing what that feels like. Okay, so we have our mountain ranges. Now we're gonna draw our little town here. Um, these buildings can be whatever you want them to be. If you want them to be houses, you can certainly make them houses. These just looked like um, high-rise buildings. So my sister lives in Colorado. She used to live in Colorado Springs. Um, now she lives up closer, farther up in the mountains. But when she lived in Colorado Springs, the view out of her living room window was the skyline of downtown Colorado Springs with the mountain range behind it. So that's why, that's why when I saw this, I went, oh, my sister used to live there. That's what it reminds me of. Now she li lives um, close to Estes Park, not in Estes Park, but towards that area. And I was on the phone with her one day and she said, oh no, there's a bear in my backyard. <laughs> so... She lives in an interesting place. Okay, so some of these, these right here I have overlapping. These are just kind of here by themselves and that's that's bothering me <laughs> a little bit. So I think I'm gonna put um, a rooftop maybe here or, uh, to show that there's a building back behind there that kind of bothers me a little bit. Maybe one right there too. And over here, okay. So here we have our mountain range and our skyline. I'm gonna add something here in the foreground. Here we have the background, the midground. This right here is gonna be the foreground. Um, and this is just gonna be just a little half circle like this. It makes it more interesting um, to have something in your foreground. So I'm adding this just to add interest. It could be a road. Um, it could be a sidewalk. It might be um, the edge of some water. 
I'm gonna let it come out farther, I think, and let my buildings go all the way down to that point over here. Okay, so here we have mountain range, skyline, sidewalk, road, edge of a lake, we're not sure. <laughs> 